Hello. Um, another video. This is a, another competition. Because, or this is a competition. It depends whether I upload this one or the science one first to the internet. But this is a religious education, P PEB, PDC type thing on what does Easter mean to you? The challenge, creatively show what you think about Easter. And for those who don't know, although if you're watching this on my YouTube, I have mentioned it already, I'm not Christian. I am in fact Wiccan. So this is a video slideshow about the pagan or Wiccan. I 100% sure whether it is actually celebrated by other pagan religions but this is a video about Austria now before we begin, begin quick thing for those at school if this is watched in a class for example I have no idea what may happen to this video in school post entry this symbol does not equal this one the symbol on the left is the pentacle and is one of the main symbols of Wicca. The symbol on the right is an inverted pentacle or inverted pentagram, not quite sure which is the correct terminology, and is a symbol of Satanism. I Saint I can't I can't pronounce the word, but they're not the same. Throughout this video I have various pictures of a pentacle and a lot of people think this symbol means that I worship the devil. That is actually not the case. The symbol is a symbol of good luck and interesting, interestingly enough for a long time it has been used by Christians as a symbol of good luck and protection. It is still used as a similar in a similar fashion by pagans and Wiccans today. I I should just say here, if I get any information wrong, please don't hurt me. On the internet people on the internet, please don't please don't hurt me. I'm I've only my information I'm still learning and I don't mean to offend anybody. I honestly don't. Anyway, let's continue. Wheel of the Year. Eight Wiccan festivals. Not also as well as the twelve to thirteen Esbats which are held on the full moon. The one we are focusing on is this one here, Ostara. But the others include, include Yule, Winter Solstice, In Bulk or Candle Mass, February the 2nd, Sacred to the Goddess Bridget or Saint Bridget, Beltane, May 1st, May Day, um, Lipa, Midsummer, Summer Solstice, Lammas, August 1st, one of the Harvest Festivals, Maybon, September 21st, another Harvest Festival, Samhain, October 31st, which is New Year, also known as Halloween. Basic information. It is, the holiday is pronounced Ostara. It is celebrated in March around the 21st. I believe this year it is celebrated on the 20th of March. <coughs> It is the spring equinox, which is the midpoint between the winter solstice, the shortest day, and the summer solstice, the longest day. Just on the sun part and not anyway. Sacred to the god Istora. Now, Istora sounds a bit like Easter to me. And it's a fact that Christians as they converted the world, converted Europe to, to their religion, incorporated 
aspects of different religions to create it. For example, I mentioned Saint Bridget on the last slide. The Celts worshipped the goddess Bridget, but when the Christians came, they found they couldn't trans they couldn't get rid of this belief in Bridget. So instead of making it wrong, they made her a saint. You see, Christians have been very crafty over the years. Very, very crafty. <laughs> anyway, Istora. The sacred symbols. Spring flowers, symbols of spring and renewing. White rabbits, or rabbits in general. Fertility. This can often be linked to the Easter Bunny. If you can sort of see where I'm coming from. You can't even see my hands, because I'm moving my hands. Do, 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 do. <coughs> and coloured eggs. Rebirth. Again, craft Christians. They also use eggs around this time as a symbol of rebirth. Craft, craft Christians. Are they just? Yes. The last section asks for an opinion. So why is Istora important to me? I'm Wiccan. I am a eclectic, solitary witch. Which, <coughs> which, which, which basically means that I work on my own. I am not part of a group or coven. I and I pick my own path. I do not belong to a group such as Gardean, Dianic, or there was another one that I had in my head and I can't remember the other name. But there are branches of Wicca which is a lot more organised than general Wicca. But, yes, I'm Wiccan. And this, so I basically pick my own path. I find aspects that interest me. For example, I very much enjoy working with elemental, the elements as an aspect of Wicca, whereas some people may find the aspect of working with different deities more appealing. I have actually yet to find deities that I can work with, but I'm sure as I develop as a witch that I find I'll find some more. As I have actually mentioned on this channel, I've only been practicing properly since the summer. If you wanna have a look, I will probably on the YouTube version of this video link to my fluffy bunny stages. Which is always fun. My fluffy bunny videos, which are fun. They'll probably be over on the egg. And now they're gone. Anyway. Legal stuff. I don't own anything. None of this. None of the pictures. None of the fonts. None of the anything that I have used here. Apart from my voice. I own. Um, I have sourced information from books, different web pages. Uh, let's see what else. All the pictures are sourced here. Yes, I own nothing. And that's all, folks. And until next time, bless be and goodbye.